Harare is one of the world's most popular martial arts, with over 10 million practitioners, but only a handful successfully use it in mixed martial arts. How come? 28. In today's video, I'm speaking to Lyoto, the Dragon Machida, arguably the most successful karate fighter in MMA. By going from classical Japanese karate to UFC champion, Lyoto cracked the karate code and transcended the tradition. How did he do it? That's exactly what I wanted to find out. First of all, thank you so much for agreeing to do this interview, especially since it's your birthday. So, 25, right? Uh, tw 28. 28? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're younger than me? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is there something special that you train that works so well for your karate style in MMA? So I've been changed a little bit, little by little, because I can notice that MMA and sport combat has, has evolved a lot. So mm -hmm. if you don't change the style, you're gonna be like, you're not gonna be able to compete anymore. Mm -hmm. What is happening with people of my age, like my generation, sometimes they stop to evolve because they, they stop studying and they still believe that the old style can compete with the, the nowadays style. You, know? you have to be very aware and notice what is you have what has changed in the sport and you have to follow that. Is there anything specific about traditional karate that you think should change for modern mixed martial arts? Maybe it, the ground fighting or what do you think? It depends. It depends because there is people that wants the old karate that you have to maintain the traditional. Yeah. But if you looking for something new, more like effective for MMA for real combat, for sure I believe you have to change some things. Uh, you can you can keep the principles, which is so mm. important, the principles. Mm. But you have to change, you have to adapt something because back in the days, karate was great for war and self-defense. Mm. But now it comes to sport. Yeah. So when it comes to sport, you have a, a, a rules, you have a time, you have a referee. So you have to use all those things to make it very effective. Mm. And what about kata? How have you used kata for your fighting style? <clears throat> it's very controversial when I say yeah. when, when it comes to kata because yeah. old people they still believe kata is yeah. so essential mm. to improve your fight skills. Yeah. I don't believe that. For everything that I already experienced, yeah. I separate, I really separate kata mm. is a different uh, things that cannot uh, interfere in your fight style because there is a lot of things that you have to train in fight, mm. like distance, time, combination, traps, so many things yeah. that you have to train. Sometimes if you train kata mm. in order to improve your kumite, Mm. That's my point of view. Yeah. I respect the others, the other people that think differently. Yeah. But that's my point of view. I I prefer train more kumite to improve my kumite. That's very interesting. How about bunkai or the applications of kata? Is this something you ever studied? Yes, mm. a lot. Especially when I compete, because in traditional karate, yeah. you have a ETKF, yeah. International Traditional Karate Federation. You have bunkai in the mm. competition as well. Mm. You have in the double KF as well, Of right? course, yes. yes. Yeah. So that's when I was like 20, 20, 20, 21 years old, I trained a lot Bunkai. I tried to apply the techniques, but something, sometimes it makes no sense. Right. right. Yeah. We try to figure out somehow, how can I adjust? How can I make it fit yeah. in some skills? But for me, it's more, even more deep than mm. we see in a bukai. Sometimes mm. you have throws, you have yeah. uh, you have uh, chokes. Yeah. That you you have to believe that karate is more than punts and kicks. Mm. But for instance, you did the famous crane kick that you find in Kankudai, for instance, and you knocked somebody out with that. So some kata movements are still very useful. Of course, yeah. of course. You cannot say I cannot use something from kata. Mm. Actually, I have to use a lot of things from kata, but mm. I cannot like mix everything like uh, believe that if I train only kata, for example, yeah. some kata is you have a hisageri, yeah. but you only repeat once in the kata sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Better to do a part and yeah. repeat like a hundred times instead of doing a hundred times kata. Or a jumping hisageri, which is also one of your specialties, yes, but it's not in kata. Jumping his again yeah. is not in kata, yes, yeah. yes. But you do it all the time. <laughs> yeah, I do it all the time because I train separate. Exactly, yes. Yeah, yeah. Wow. 
That's very interesting and thank you so much for sharing your expertise with me today. Thank I you really so much, Jess. I, I follow your channel and that's good. Thank you so much.